Welcome back to Tales of Drag Lake, everybody. Um, I was looking to jump back into Tales of Drag Lake before realizing that we are at the Iron Keep. Uh, oh, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's just the Iron Keep. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, continue with the playthrough. It's been a significant time since I've played. As I've explained in my playthrough, what the hell? Did that make like a... Oh, it must be because the other one is shooting great arrows. The other Alon Knight. Eat shit bitches. These are NPCs too, weirdly. Uh, as I explained in my previous video... Uh, God, I'm all over the place today. I can't even talk. In my Hunter's Guide video, that's what I wanted to say. I've just been kind of, you know, busy with the winter break, New Year's, uh, everything. I didn't really have time to record during January. Plus, the other thing I wanted to do is I really wanted to finish up. Um, oh, interest, interesting. I really wanted to finish up the Hunter Guide, which is now finished. If you've not seen the final two episodes of that playthrough, I recommend checking those out. After you finish this video, of course. So, yeah. That's about it. Now we're ready to jump back into more tails. Oh, yeah, you can run like that. I am really curious on uh, what they did with this area. I see that they've significantly reduced the amount of enemies and amount of snipers. Which is excellent, because... This area is one of the biggest nightmares in the vanilla game, and by vanilla I mean Scholar of the First Sin. And they put a ladder there. See, the biggest issue is that... Okay, there's like enemies all over the place. Yeah, okay, he can come down the stairs. The biggest issue is that this place is just riddled with snipers, you know. I don't need to explain this. Uh, people who have played Dark Souls probably have fond memories of this place. Is there a ladder there as well? Yeah, there is. Now see, that is interesting. But it goes from... Hmm. Yeah, I'll have a look around here. Why not? This is like an area of the Iron Keep I never explore. Uh, this place for me is very much a uh, get in there, get out as quickly as you can type deal. Holy shit, are you seeing how much more damage my... Okay, there's a counter damage from the spear. But that spear is dealing so much more damage than... I mean the katana is dealing so much more damage than the spear. I really am all over the place today. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like drunk or something. Hey, buddy, you're a little bit slow on the reactions. It's okay, I'm not gonna judge you. Just making sure. This contains life ring and twinkling. Interesting. Interessante. I can always go and get the coal or try to get it. No, but you have to jump from the other side. Yeah, just make my life easier, please. So you have to rotate this thing, right? To put out the fire. I think. Hey, where did you come from? Not that it matters. I think the fire is out now. Weird. I think that does exist in the vanilla game as well. Some of these I honestly don't even remember. Again, this area for me is... Um, definitely not a place I spend a lot of time in.
We might as well explore. Do something we don't get to do. Okay, and this lever should drop the platform. Or at least one half of the platform. I saw the fucking other lever somewhere. Did I see the other lever somewhere? Or am I just blind? See, because that's not gonna do us too much. But it used to be here. Like, didn't it used to be here? I could have sworn. Fuck. Okay. Time to run around like an idiot. It's okay, we can take out this Alon Knight. That's very bizarre. You can skip. Oh, there it is. Kind of a weird place to put it, but whatever. Does this mean you can skip? What's his name? Smelter Demon? Hmm. Smelter Demon is now an optional boss. Unless there is like some locked door here or some shit. And there isn't. That is really bizarre. That is really, really bizarre. I'm not gonna skip him. The reason I'm not gonna skip him is... Uh, the rewards are worth it. If nothing else, the Ring of Blades plus one is... Definitely something we want to go for. Plus we need to finish up and maybe get the coal as well, if that is the dull ember. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Let's see the NPC sort of lineup for here. One of these should be Lucatil. God, these guys have the reaction ties. <laughs> Holy, did you see that? Oh yeah, because these guys have unique... They have unique backstab animations. For like most weapons. I was just power stancing there. I did not know I have the stats to power stance this weapon. Alva. Oh, it's Alva. And Lucatil, of course. The thing is, if I want to continue with Lucatil's questline, that is a risky jump. We're not going to do that. And I do want to continue with Lucatil's questline. I will need to summon her. There's a... Yep. And that's just a petri petrified dragon. Oh, fuck off. God, what a shitty place to put this enemy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Somehow I had a feeling something like that was gonna happen. Uh, I got fucking baseballed into the lava. Cool, well, let's just get back there quickly. This run back is a lot less painful now, luckily. Okay, second time is a charm, uh, because maybe this run back is not as easy as I thought, uh, but that's not true. That is not exactly true, I was just stupid and I died. Listen, I just figured, oh fuck you, I just figured out that this fucking like, uh, power stance shit is actually pretty good. Did you see how much damage it dealt? I'll check out what the item is, but I still wanted to have a look at this because... Aside from that useless, like, health pool, that's what that is. Uh, yeah, it's just a Zweihander. Okay, so the dull ember is still what we're missing. Uh, but, come on. You know, I have hope that I'll be able to find it. Okay, do we smelt her? I think we smelt her with Luke Till in tow. It's not really much else we can do, aside from moving on, but... As I said, I feel like this is a fairly crucial part of the game. We're gonna get a nice buff going here. A doink buff. I think this guy... See, I'm kind of low on everything, but I think Dark Pine is probably okay for this dude. 
Let me just check my rings as well. Royal Soldier, Protection. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's about as good as we're gonna get. Let's do this. Damage is not as bad as I was expecting. That dodge he didn't use to do. Fucking hell, he's loud. Let me just try. I think the power stancing might be something fairly good here. He's way quicker than he used to be. But I mean, look at this damage. Okay, he's doing the buff. We're gonna do a life gem. I hate that he... I hate that he doesn't take any damage during his transition phases. I mean, it makes sense because then you, you'd be just like wailing on him. But still. Am I power stanced? Holy crap. Easy. Easy money. I mean, like, the look at is a beast here. I feel like she was buffed. Definitely. Like, it really, really feels like it. Because uh, what used to happen is she didn't do any damage. Like, barely. But now she's actually doing damage too. And she has a shit ton of HP, so... I think she's super powerful. She is super powerful, which is good. It's good, I mean, if you're gonna summon someone, you might as well have them actually help you. Uh, this game does run into issues quite a few times where uh, the NPCs you summoned are just not useful. I think I've talked about this before, but with a lot of NPCs, to balance them, what FromSoft did is they don't actually have the stats to wield their weapon. So they just end up doing zero damage, uh, which is not fun, you know. But this is the, this is almost the dude I want more, because uh, he has the Ring of Blades plus one. God, that does a lot of damage. It's just it's kind of a goofy animation. Uh, a lot of power stanced weapons have like the same animations. Like anything with a spear will have that like thrust, which is you know kind of boring. You're using a katana and you're just like stabby stabbing with it. But hey, if it if it deals damage, it deals damage. And slice. Come on, I thought that was gonna kill. And slice. Cool. That's what we're here for. That's the money. Uh, let me just switch that out. And I think we're gonna, with 44,000 souls, we're gonna pop back to Majula. Cool. We just need to quickly figure out what we're gonna upgrade here. I've completely forgotten what stats I was going for, but getting these to 2020. Certainly isn't gonna ha hurt. How much fuck? I was going for Yorm's spear, right? God, I need to look up what the stats are on it. Give me a sec. Okay, so it's thirty twenty-five. Uh, thirty is quite a bit. Mm, yeah, we're gonna go strength. Although we still have a long, long way to go until we get to the DLC and get York's spear, especially. How am I doing on upgrade materials? Five. I don't think that's enough to do anything. No, it is. Cool. 
Why haven't I done this before? Well, whatever. Got our shit upgraded. Uh, I think it's time to head back. Okay. Now this feels like proper iron keep. Until we see these guys. Kind of a weird enemy to have, but you know. Uh, I think the initial idea for these guys was that they would be showing up in more places. It just didn't happen. Okay, you're a dumbass. Okay, maybe you're not a dumbass. Fuck. There it is. See, a couple of levels on your weapon can make a world of difference. What the fuck? <laughs> I just saw that thing. Okay. Well, that is um, unexpected to say the least. Oh, and these are the actual proper ones. As in not the NPC versions. Fucking hell. I think there is a way there has to be a way to drop that guy into the lava. Probably by luring him over here. Oh, thank fuck for this. This is off by default, because this is annoying to get through. Oh no. Is that how it works in the... Oh shit. That's how it works in the vanilla game as well. I'm just stupid. It's okay. We can jump over. I'm not gonna burn my feet. Alright, chicken wing guy. I honestly didn't expect to find you here. You have a lot less HP than your... Oh. <laughs> that's some Looney Tunes shit, that's for sure. Tom and Jerry. I would be like flat as a pancake or have like the stars coming out of me. What is taking or like what is dealing damage to me? Strange. Alright, we need some... I have a lot of divine blessings. Drink that. And nothing heals you instantly in this game, I swear. Divine bless Blessings are so incredibly quick in um, Dark Souls 1, for example. And there's a sp so I could have dropped him into the lava by stepping on the pressure switch. It's all good. The question is, do we... Well, first of all, the question is, can you even make that jump? I think you can. Uh, the other question is, do we want to make that jump? Leads the other way through this area. <sighs> I hate jumping in Souls games. This is not the way I normally take through this place. A slightly longer path. Okay, I'm just taking stupid damage. But never mind that. Oh, if this was a mimic, that would be so evil. What? No fucking way. Did I just get invaded by... It's like real patches, not paint. Oh, come on. He has an invisible weapon. Of course this dickhead would have an invisible weapon. And he has a shit ton of HP. Are you kidding me? What does he have? What does he have? He has a spear, of course, too. 
Jesus. Like a club or something. Now how the hell do you have poise? This is this is pretty cool. Or is he just using no he's using Are you fucking kidding me? I'm getting my ass beat by patches. He's just using his fists. What a dick. He's been working out. No, 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 no patches. Don't even think about this shit. Um, what the hell? <laughs> okay. GG's. Where does this lead? Does this lead to the side area? Can you go there for free? Because this, if you couldn't tell by the not exactly well done texture. What the hell is this? Like, this is not in the uh, vanilla game, it's emulation. Yeah, this is where you drop from. Man, they added a lot of weird shit. So I guess technically that does mean you can go to Belfry for free. Which is interesting. That is an interesting choice. I mean, listen, I'll take it. Just a shitty Thunder Quartz ring. Uh, the problem is if we drop down there... We are gonna have to go through the fucking uh what you call it. Wow, this is weird. When do you ever get to see the other side of a locked ferrous lockstone door? Oh well. Okay, just checking time. We're generally doing okay on time in these episodes. I can't fucking believe I have to make the jump again now. If I wanna. <sighs> these are ass clenchers every single time. But yeah, we'll go we'll go up. And this is how you would dip the chicken wing guy into the lava. It's kind of no point in doing that now. I guess he won't spawn again if we go through here. And then that's just a health pool. That is like the worst thing to spend a Ferris Lockstone on, believe me. What up, boys? I love that animation. That animation is sick. I'm gonna backstab all these bitches. Is that... Is that what you call it? The DLC area? That wasn't there before, right? That is definitely the DLC area. Broom Tower. I think. That is super cool if it's something that they added. Even though I've always, always believed this place kind of looked weird. Even in the DLC when you go there, it looks like you're on the surface of another planet or some shit. But hey. <laughs> GG's. GG sketch. G fucking G. That was truly an elegant move. God damn it. Okay, I'm, I'm pissed about that. That was the stupidest shit. <sighs> Unbelievable. So I'm just thinking how we're doing on time and whether I should wrap it up here. We don't have a lot to cut out from this episode. There's that one run back. Oh, fuck off. Okay, so we do have the appropriate
Okay. I will take it. I will take a freebie if I'm given one. Forlorn. Yeah. Souls AI for you, people. Souls AI. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'll wrap it up here and I'll go back to where I died off screen and then we can start off there in the next episode. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Tales of Drang Lake. It's always a mouthful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications as always to stay up to date on my content and I will see all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.